Hello everyone and welcome to Useful Graphic Design Tutorials. It's Caroline here and thank you very much for dropping by. And in this video we're going to show you how to create a simple arrow with a blur shadow. Here's a simple arrow, it's very straightforward, with a, a darkened outline to give it a bit of definition and a blur shadow to give it some depth. So let's get rid of that and we'll go straight on to the tutorial. So the first thing we need to do is to create a rectangle. So going over to the Create Rectangle and Square icon here, click on it and drag with your mouse to create the rectangle. This is the stem of the arrow. Now I'm just going to create something here. great thing about Inkscape is it saves the last settings that you've been using. And let's say you've opened up your Inkscape to follow this tutorial and your rectangle has actually appeared like this. It's got rounded corners. Well, I just want to show you how to rectify that. So what we need to do is um, highlight that, which it is. Go over to the Edit Paths and Nodes tool, which we've clicked on. And then with the uh, cursor, just grab one of these little circles, this one here, and push it up to the corner and now we've got a 90 degree rectangle which is what we want. Okay so um, I just wanted to show that to you. The second shape we want to create is a perfect square so click on the create squares and rectangle hold down the control key and draw yourself a nice perfect square. Select that and click on that again because we want to move it on its axis grab hold of the curved handle here and simply move it round until it's directly on its axis like that. We've still got a square though and we need to convert that into a triangle. So just go up to the path tool, select the object to path and then go back to the edit paths by nodes. Click on one of the nodes here and then control backspace we'll get rid of half of the square making the triangle. Right, so now we want to align both of these together. So go back to the Select tool and then hold down Shift and select the uh, tree of the arrow. Move up to the Align and Distribute Objects tool, which is here. We want to select this second one, which actually is the Access Align to the left and then we want to center on the vertical axis. Okay, now we're finished for that for the moment. Then we simply want to select the triangle and using the keys on the keypad, on the keypad simply just move the top triangle down until it's in a position that you quite like. Okay, but we've still got two shapes and we want to merge the two together. So we want to highlight and select both of them. So that's select one, hold shift down, and select the other. Then go up to the path tool and select the union and that has now joined the two shapes together. We want to change the colour of that because it's not particularly uh, attractive is it? Let's go up. Uh, I was just very aware of uh, whizzing this, this um, scroll bar up too quickly. Uh, let's choose a nice green tool, okay? We can see it's actually got a, a dark blue outline so I think we'll change that first of all. So go up to the full and stroke, okay, and we want to check to see if there is, well we know there is actually, a, a stroke width defined, it's two. We just don't want it to be blue. We want it to, well let's keep it at black, let's say, or we could go to green and have dark green, probably that's better. Okay, so we're happy with that. The next stage is to duplicate the arrow and I right click and then duplicate, you can go to edit and duplicate that way. Okay, I'm going to make this a darker colour um, and select just down from here and what I want to do is to slot that darker arrow behind the light green one. Make sure it's selected to begin with and then go up to the set of four tools here and select the second one. This is um, a tool which moves the object that's selected one step down. So if we click on that it brings the lighter tool to the foreground. Now to get more accuracy in terms of um, just nudging that darker arrow behind the lighter one I use the arrow keys on the keyboard. Let's just do 
that like that. And then come back to the fill and stroke tool and use the blur to create the sort of shadow and effect that you would like. Okay, so that I think is fine. Now, I'm just going to take you very quickly through saving this, although we do have a separate video on uh, saving that we go into more detail. But the first thing you need to make sure is that the object you want to save is actually in this workspace area, which this is. So then you need to go up to File, and then Save, and then simply put in the name of, oops, the green arrow that you want um, and where you want it to actually be saved in. Leave the save as file type in Inkscape and then click Save. And the reason for leaving that is that when you open it up again you will be able to amend it in any which way you want to. Okay, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for joining us here. If you do have any questions about what we've gone through here or indeed any feedback please do contact us. You can do that by visiting our fan page the details of which are below the arrow here on the video. Other than that we'll see you next time.